mean, we were both standing there. The beauty about Candace and I is that we're two totally different artists. Um, we're so we're both so driven and hungry for each other's careers, and um, I just felt like this is just the beginning. This is not the end of the road uh, for any of us. Um, so I'm, I'm so proud of her, and I'm proud of myself for even getting this far. I couldn't believe I was standing there with her at the finale. So you know, Candace is going to come out with her album in six weeks. Angie has a new single. What's yeah. going on with your album, your single? Well. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you could pick one person from the cast to duet with or to like record with on your own album, who would it be and why? Well, Keith. Yeah. Okay. Because mm -hmm. um, he's a fellow country artist, so that would be an awesome collaboration. Tonight I had so much fun singing with him. How are you going to celebrate your birthday tomorrow? Um, I might do some sleeping. <laughs> um, but I mean, just. You know, obviously, uh, tonight I'm going to celebrate with my family because I feel like I have so much to celebrate. Okay. <laughs> what was your favorite moment tonight overall, like performance wise? I mean, obviously, you enjoyed your performance, you know, with the yeah. but is there anything else, even in the packages or anything that just moved you? Um, I mean, honestly, the, the whole night was magical for me. And, um, and Candace too. I mean, we just both kept looking at each other. What are we doing? And um, the fact that I kept looking down, and I would see my whole family, my uh, brothers here tonight, and I'm just so relieved to have the support that I've had. Um, so yeah, I couldn't possibly just pick one more. <laughs> you mentioned that you know wanting to fix your parents' house. Yeah. And is that something that you, have you done any more planning on that? Is that something that you wanted to right away? Um, all in good time. I mean, you know, it's, uh, there's, I think there will be a time for that. But yeah, we, we are definitely going to do that one day. Nashville is always so welcoming to, you know, new artists. And they're, yeah. they're very supportive. Lucky Covington and you had, um, you know, a lot of different people come out. Is that kind of like where you think your home will be? Or where do you think? Oh, yeah. Home? I mean, I've lived in Nashville for 13 years. Um, so I've adopted lots of family and um, I'm a little biased. It's my second home. So, so we maybe get that country soul album? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. We'll see you at the same time. You know. <laughs> Um, I think before this whole journey, emotionally, maybe I had like a wall up on stage and it's really taught me how to tear that down to connect with the audience because I feel like you have to on the show, you're just speaking to a camera and it's really important to connect. So um, I just feel like it's taught me to be a better performer. Now that it's over, what's the best part? Um, the or fact what? that, well the next step. Obviously, you know, um, all of the relationships that I've created and the friends that I make. I mean, we get to go on tour together, which is crazy. We get, I, I get to go and tour. That's a little insane. Um, and then I want to just make a good record. That's all I've ever wanted to do. So, one last question. Your fans were tweeting you like crazy today. And they want to know how is the support for you with all your new fans, with all the people that were with you from the second you auditioned? Um, I mean, not just my family, but uh, all of the, the, the following that I've created. It's, it's unbelievable. Um, they, the Crees crew, actually, they made me the, the best birthday video. And at the end of it, they knew how much the Children's Hospital visit meant to me. And they donated $50 each in my name to the Children's Hospital, which is so incredibly nice. So I'm, I'm full of love. When it comes to this whole process, what's the most unexpected challenge for you today? Um, the, I mean, I, I try so hard to live in the moment because I feel like the challenge was that it was so fast-paced. Um, but I feel like I did all right with, with, with doing that. Did you share anything with uh, Randy at that moment that was on the stage? Oh yeah, I mean, I love him. I'm, I'm so happy that I got to be, um, you know, in this season with him. I'm so sad that he's leaving, but um, yeah, I'm sure he'll move on to do bigger and better things, and hopefully we can work together one day again, because I just adore him. Can you tell us what your ideal album would look like? 
look like. <laughs> 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 Uh, I mean, it's definitely going to be country, for sure. I, I want to be on country radio, and um, yeah, I'm, I can't believe that I get to go make that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't necessarily want to put myself in a box now, um, but whatever it is, it'll be Cree, I think. I hope. Have you like talked to your sister yet? Yes. I have. What did she say? Um, my, my, all of my siblings are so proud. My brother's over here somewhere, and um, it's, it's such an amazing thing to, to have them here with me. It really is. What was, what was, it, what was it like um, doing the Aretha Franklin? Was it hard with the video and all that? I mean, I, Aretha Franklin, are you kidding? I, I'd see to her video any day. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm so happy that I can be one of the people in the world to say that I was saying was Aretha Franklin. That's pretty okay. insane, right? And you keep thinking it, because you say freedom in the song. <laughs> <laughs> we kept joking about that, actually. I like that nickname. It's stuck. What was your initial reaction when you found out you were kind of going to be singing with her? I thought it was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I was like, ah, oh, that's funny or hilarious. And then all of us girls were just like, are you kidding? I mean, Aretha Franklin is the queen of soul, but artists wouldn't want to sing with her, so we were so happy. How was it cute? I wrote the Adon on that video that she was there. Has she reached out to you at all? She's tweeted me, um, and I've seen some tweets where she's she's been really supportive. I love her. She brought me on her show four different times, and um, I hope to reconnect with her one day because she she was always so lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.